Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am really excited to bring you this awesome design video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I spent hours and hours and hours researching and brainstorming for you guys and I am super excited to share with you some of the things that we have done in this video. So the very first part of this, if you want to use the same designs that I'm using, is you do have to put down a dirt path first all over the area and make it a little bit larger than what you want your deck to be. If you don't do that, then the deck won't lay right or if you want a garden around it like I have, it just won't connect quite right. So after a lot of trial and error, I found out that I had to put down the dirt path and I like the dark dirt path, but if you like the lighter one or even if you want to use sand, you can do that. So this is a multi-section pattern, if you want to call it that. I'll go ahead and put the designer code on the screen and you'll want to do it with the designer code, not just the design, because you need to download all of these different sections. It took me a little while to figure out all the different pieces, but once I figured it out, it was so cool. Now I'm just going to go around and plant some red and yellow flowers just around the fence sporadically. There's not really any rhyme or reason to it. Eventually they'll all fill themselves in, but I thought it would be cool to just put them all over the place and make it look like it's a little bit more wild and in nature and it's not as landscaped and perfect. Next I'm adding these log stakes up top and this is basically to act as a fence. I just thought it looked a little bit more campy and natural than an actual fence. It is a DIY so if you don't have the DIY find somebody that does or just use any of the fencing like some of the farm style fencing or even the simple fence would look great. Once I have the whole area fenced off, I am adding a wood burning stove up top. You can do this. There's also the different types of grills. You've got different types of fireplaces like the pizza oven fireplace. You can really add anything you want up here. I just thought this looked nice for a little cookout area. And then I'm also adding a telescope up here. It just looked like the perfect spot to do all of your stargazing on a bright, not sunshiny, but moon and star filled day. Now what cookout and camping area would be complete without a fire pit? Am I right? We need a fire pit. So I'm just using the smaller fire pit. There is a much larger one. It would take up this whole area if I used it. So I'm using the smaller one and I'm just placing down a couple different types of log stools and benches. These are all DIYs, but I chose three different ones just to show you guys the different options that you have. If you don't have all three of them, you might not have known that these three exist. So I wanted to go ahead and just display all of them so you guys know which ones you like and which ones you don't like. I also placed a set of firewood in the back and you guys know how much I love my s'mores and my marshmallow kit so you know I cannot have a fire pit without putting my marshmallow bag down. But we are in a camping area and we're having a cookout and I think you need chips for a cookout. I found an awesome design online for a Lay's chip bag. I think it's really really fun so I went ahead and put it next to the grill and we have a bag of chips. I've seen a couple of other really fun cushion designs, so I'll definitely have to do a video on just those because they are some of my favorite. I think they're so fun. But that is it for this area. It is complete. I went ahead and I waited my three days and here it is with the flowers in full bloom. So this is what it looks like. I absolutely love how this turned out. I don't know what you guys think, if this is something that you would like in your area or on your island, but I, love this and I think I want to do it in an even larger scale somewhere down the road but for now this is what we've got it's a nice simple easy design that you can do on your own island this is the heart-shaped pond or lake whatever you want to call it I've had a lot of questions about this and how to make it because they are becoming increasingly popular so in order to make this you'll just make a rectangular shape with your waterscaping tool and once you've made the rectangle about this size you'll just run up to the point of it and you'll kind of just fill it in so you'll start with the point and you'll fill in the point and then you'll fill in the two squares diagonally or next to it however you want to consider this I'm not sure <laughs> but you'll fill in these points here 
just like this and this is what's going to be the top shape of that heart so once you've done that you'll go to the next little tips over here and you'll fill those in but then you'll kind of waterscape them again and this causes it to be a curved edge you'll go ahead and you'll do that to both of these little points and that gives you those nice round edges of your heart then of course you've got these two points that are sticking out of the side of your little pond so you'll fill in those corners and then waterscape them again thus giving you another rounded edge and once you've done that to all four of those points you'll have a perfect little heart shaped pond and it's super cute you can go ahead and decorate it with flowers you can also put different um, dirt and sand paths underneath of it before you make the heart and yeah super cute the next thing this is so cute is the double waterfall so the fun thing about the double waterfall is not only can you have it facing the front side of your island but you can also have it facing the side of your island like so so it can be facing the east or the west of your island and it just allows you to have a lot more variety of what you can do with waterfalls you can also put multiple waterfalls side by side and fill them in with flowers like you see here you can also build a fourth level on top of the waterfalls, which is also a lot of fun because it just gives your island a little bit more height. So as you can see, I've built a fourth tier on top of these waterfalls and I've just decorated them with flowers. And talking about flowers brings me to my next design. This is a rainbow flower garden. Even if you don't have rainbow flowers, you can just do a basic flower garden. What's really good about this is I was able to put a fountain in the middle, so I got an extra piece of item into my island and I also put a bench behind it or a swing behind it and then I use some fencing and this really helps bring up the value or the level the star level of your island because you're getting a lot of little details into one little area this is one of those super super cute ideas that I suggest this is the main reason why I have five stars on this island this design is a brick fence or a zen fence works really well with hedges in front of it and then the dark dirt and flowers to make a garden. Then you have a walkway and on the other side of the walkway is another flower garden followed by a simple fence. So why this is so good is because in this little walkway area that you would have anyways, you've actually tripled up on fencing and doubled up on flowers. The next thing is this really cute little deck area, I guess if you want to call it that. This is the design code, so go ahead and pause the screen and screenshot it or whatever you want to do if you want to download it. But this is, it's kind of just like a little white deck and you can use it as almost like a porch. You could put uh, fences around it or anything like that to kind of finish it off. But what we're doing here is I'm going to make a little room. This is kind of the route I'm going to take today with this video. I'm going to make these little teeny tiny rooms with a bunch of different design ideas just so that you guys can get an idea of different designs, but they also fit in a really small area or you can make them larger. So this is a little window panel and it's on the wooden panel that you can buy in Nook Shop. It comes in a bunch of different colors so you can just download whichever color suits your simple panel so I've gone ahead and done that and then this is a simple panel with the design that you can actually customize in game so this little wood kind of I guess siding so this wooden design is already in game you don't have to download it when you have the simple panel you can just go ahead and do a DIY on it and customize it and turn it into that so I thought that was a really cool idea. Of course, there's tons of different options that you can do, but I thought it looked really well. And then just having those big windows or double doors or whatever you want to call them, I thought it looked really, really cool with this design that I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to put the simple panels across the back. You can always put them down the side or in the front if you want to make a completed room. Unfortunately, I only have six and I don't time travel on this game. So... I couldn't really time travel to get more of them so I'm just doing it along the back wall and you guys can use your imagination if you decide you want to put them down the side. What I'm doing here is a little sitting area or maybe indoor garden kind of thing and I am using the stalls that I just customized to be this light color. There are so many different options that you can do with the stalls. This one that you see here is one that's already in game. I didn't download anything to make them look like this. I just customized them with the in game options. 
I thought since this was going to be kind of a gardeny area that the ironwood garden benches would be a really nice touch to this. So you can see I'm just kind of rearranging things to make it fit, make it look as best as I can. And I think I finally found something that looks really nice and it fits in this nice little area. So if you are looking to fill just a short little area or a small little square of your island, this design could really, really work for that. What's so great about this one that I'm making now is that you'll be able to pack in a ton of items into a little tiny area and that's going to help with your rating. So if you're still struggling to get five stars, maybe go ahead and try one of the designs from this video because they are in a really tiny, tiny area and you just add a lot into that little tiny area. Once I was done, it ended up looking something like this. Of course, you can always customize it however you want with whatever plants you want and whatever colors and designs you want. But I think it's a really nice little relaxing kind of area. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this? Is this something that you would put in your island? I thought it'd be kind of cute to do a couple of these little tiny pods around and have a bunch of little areas like that. Now this next one is actually a two-part design. So it's a very, very similar flooring, but it's a brown, but then it also comes with stairs. And as you can see, you can do it inside and have a raised area inside your house, or you can do it outside like I'm doing here and it can be a raised deck. I've seen a couple people do this design on the outside of their houses and then if they put fence around it it actually looks like they've got like a little porch or balcony on the outside of their house and it looks really really cool so if you want I can go ahead and do a video on that in the future but right now this is what it looks like you can see it looks like there's little teeny tiny stairs going up to this deck and that's not it for this deck we are going to do some awesome things here I was so excited when I found this next design. It is a water window. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just calling it a water window. I think it is so awesome and I think you guys will agree. So I'm going to do two by two of this little water window and it makes it look like you're looking down through glass while you're on that little deck. And I think it would be really, really cool to do this in a larger area and maybe even surround it with a water design. I think that'd be really cool. So let me know if you guys think that I should try that because I'm definitely up for that challenge. So I am going to place some chairs and some tables over top of this little glass design and it kind of makes it look like you're at a restaurant where you can see down into the water. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like the beach or a lake or anything, but it's kind of a thing that you can see in real life is to be on top of an aquarium or even in a room that's an aquarium. And so that's kind of what it reminded me of. I think it's like this cute little quaint relaxing area that you can just sit and eat. If you want to turn this into another room area, you can definitely do that with those simple panels again. So I'm just going to throw up the same simple panels that I had before just to show you what it looks like if you do try to turn this into a room. Once I have this room all finished, it looks something like this. I think it'd be pretty cool to have this down by the beach or something like that. I guess if you wanted it to be your deck outside your house, you could always do that as well. But anyway, I just thought the floor with a deck and that little glass window panels, I thought they were so cool. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that window panel. Are you guys going to use that or do you think that's just not something that will fit on your island? For this next one, we're going to just make a really simple coffee shop area or maybe a little cafe area using a couple different designs. So I am customizing stalls with a pattern that I downloaded off the internet and it is basically just a cafe like design. It does come with two parts, so it comes with the stall and it also comes with the menu, which I am going to put on the simple panel like you saw with the back walls that I had been doing. When you put something on the simple panel it just doubles the design over top of itself and so for the simple panel you'll just see the design twice once on top and once on the bottom and it makes a really tall menu which I think is really cool. Honestly there's so many designs out there that I want to try with the simple panel. I'm just blown away with how many cool things you can do with them. But with this we are going to put it in the back right in the middle of our window panels 
In the end, it's just going to look like a really cool menu behind our stall or behind our little coffee shop. And I think it just adds a really cool end result to the whole look. So I'm just putting up these cypress trees. I don't have a lot of plants and flowers that I can use for this. So I'm kind of reusing a lot of the things that you've already seen because that's really all I have, but we're making it work. So next up is the stall that I customized and it matches the menu as you can see it's by the same designer so you can just download them both at the same time if you want if you want them to match but I'm also going to add another kind of menu item on here that just gives you a little bit more options if you want to call it that that way you can have the menu that is behind the counter but you can also have menus next to the counter. So sort of like how we have the panel in the back displaying the menu, you can just go right into your designs and select the design and you can click display. When you do that, it'll give you a couple different options. So I'm hitting display here and as a painting and it'll put it on the little painter stand and that way you've got this cute little menu right next to your stall. I also went and put one in the back just to fill up a little bit more space. These are the design codes for those. I use the one in the center for this. Now what coffee shop or cafe would be complete without somewhere to sit? So I am going to set up some tables and chairs. I'm just setting up one set of them, but if you want this in a much larger area, you can definitely fit way more tables and chairs in there and make it more like a completed building or a completed room. Like I said, you could put those panels down the side as well. I decided to put a bench off to the side just to see what it would look like. It matched the color scheme, so I went ahead and put it there. And of course I added some greenery onto the table just for some extra aesthetics. But guys, this is what it looks like when it's all done. A really simple, easy coffee shop. Of course you can do way more complex things, but I thought this was a nice design for a small area. So guys, those are my design tips for today. I hope that some of these designs have been helpful and that you'll be able to utilize them somehow in your own town. Let me know which design is your favorite or which ones you'll be using. Let me know if there's designs that they're just not really for you. I don't mind if you don't like all of them and hopefully they were helpful to you. Guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Happy gaming. Bye guys.